So I am back once again, as I said, with another review. Um, I've done nothing today because I had a snow day from school and my friends are total losers and they don't want to hang out. They're, they stayed in bed all day, leaving me no other option than to stay in bed all day. So I was just watching DVDs and reading. So I finished my next DVD, which I will review, and it is Jersey All Pro Wrestling's Awesome sacrifice also called vader time that's what they called it during the show and anyway let's just get this started first we had rush margera and corvus fear versus the christopher street connection um the christopher street connection is they are so funny the gimmick is so oh so funny the wrestling doesn't even have to be good the gimmick is so funny and well done there wasn't actually much wrestling. It was mostly just them doing the gay stuff. But it was very funny. I thought it worked very well. Like Christopher Street Connection almost always works. Um, then we had Justice Payne versus the Insane Dragon. To be honest, Insane Dragon was just another flippy indie guy. But I guess he could do the ragdoll selling well. Um, Justice Payne seemed like a decent heel. And they put on a decent match. I mean, they had some... Nice big impact moves, just one after another, back and forth. And it actually turned out pretty decent. Next we had Trent Acid versus Roderick Strong versus M-Dog 20. And this match was, uh, it was not given enough time because it was going very well. I was highly enjoying this match and it really, 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 really needed to be given more time. But, alas, and unfortunately, this was not good of enough time, but it was still good. Um, Roderick Strong is is my favorite worker from all of those. Trent Acid always looks like he's high, but he's okay. M-Dog 20 looks like he should just be bigger, but I don't know why. I don't know why I'm giving these random little... I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so the next match is the JAPW lightweight light heavyweight title match, which is a no DQ match versus, with Jay Lethal versus Azrael. And when Jay Lethal comes out, I was like, "Holy shit! I could not. I forgot that he had a shaved head." I know this has nothing to do with the match, but I'm so used to him with hair. It was like, "Whoa!" But anyway, this match was um, probably the match of the night, which is not a good thing. I mean, I'm not saying this match was bad because it was good, but it wasn't anything very good. So I don't know. That says something about the other matches. They botched a lot of things in this match, but they were minor botches. It wasn't like Sabu botches. They weren't major botches. They were just minor little things, and... uh they got through pretty well. Near the end, it got good. They uh, teased a lot of chair spots, and that, I thought, was what made the match. They teased it very well. And Jay Lethal wins, I believe, with... Uh... Jay Lethal wins. Keep it at that. I know he won. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a wheelbarrow, tiger, suplex, bridge, pitting combination that he won with. Next, we had the Shaolin Wrecking Crew versus the Solution, and this match was bad. The Shaolin Wrecking Crew couldn't move. They were too fat to move, and the Solution weren't such good workers themselves. They were okay heels, but it was just like... <sighs> and in the end, they had their manager, whatever the name of the manager is, I forgot his name. He got pulled into the ring, and one of the uh, Shaolin Wrecking Crew was going to beat him up while the ref's back was turned and he threw a fireball into his face which I thought was a horrible ending because using fireballs like that should not be used in regular matches I don't know I just didn't like it and it just ended like that but I was I was happy it ended so <laughs> in that respect it was good uh, next we had the Stampede Bulldogs versus the H effect and I was uh, not overly excited for this match but of course, it was T.J. Wilson and Harry Smith, so I was happy. I was like, "That's uh, looks good," and it turned out they were good as usual. 
but um, it was uh, the H effect that I thought were fantastic, and I forgot what one of their name uh their name is their names are Ditsy and the other guy well whoever the other guy is that isn't Ditsy um was hilariously funny. He made this match besides besides the fact that uh the uh, Stampede Bulldogs were very good. He he made this match. He made it very entertaining. I, f I thought it was a lot of fun. There were some just some good comedy spots. One where they had him in a submission hold, like literally literally on the rope, and he's like, "Oh, I can't reach." So it was very funny. And then we had Teddy Hart for the Amazing Red, which I was like, "Mom, Jesus." 